Hi, I'm Jim St. Ledger of Intel. I work in data plane product line management. Thanks for tuning in to this video podcast series where we will explore the key topic of network transformation, new technologies that are making it all happen, and real use cases that can be put directly into action. Known for its never-ending evolutionary cycles, the telecommunications industry is on the cusp of a technology revolution, one that comes along only once in a generation when the stakes are high and leading companies recognize the need for change before change is forced upon them. In order to maintain their competitive edge, communication service providers must proactively transform their network. Advances in virtualization and cloud technologies are shifting the landscape where software-defined networking and network functions virtualization technologies are transforming communications network and an ecosystem is being cultivated to ensure successful deployments. Having been down this road for many years already, enterprises are adopting cloud services, virtualization technology, and agile business practices to increase their speed and agility in the marketplace. Now those enterprises are demanding communication service providers apply the same approaches to their networks to improve service delivery and solve real business problems. Herein lies the opportunity for business transformation, where communication service providers can join this party to innovate and create new service and revenue opportunities at cloud speed. They must take advantage of SDN and NFE to embrace cloud-driven business models, automate their networks to deliver more agile service creation, improve scalability, interoperability, and security, and gain a competitive advantage with decreased time to market and more flexible capacity options. To give an industry perspective on what we've been discussing, let's now hear from one of our partners. I think there are two main inhibitors right now, one of which is the complexity of the technology uh, required to create this transformation in the service provider industry. Virtualization technology is, has its roots in some quite old technology, but uh, the implementation of it is fiercely complicated, and that's creating quite a lot of issues for service providers right now, particularly around interoperability, so products from different uh, comms providers not working together is probably the biggest issue that we're seeing from our audience. And then the second issue is the business case. It's turned out to be quite a lot harder for people to develop a business case for how virtualization is either going to save them money or make them money than, than they thought it would be. I think the suppliers of this virtualization technology and the other next generation communications technologies which create the network transformation don't need any convincing. I mean, they see this as a huge opportunity to make money. And, you know, the biggest opportunity probably ever since the invention of the telephone and that they don't need any convincing the service providers. We need to keep reminding them that there's this new category of vendor out there called uh, the OTT or the web scale company like a Netflix or a Google or an Amazon. So that's, that's the risk. I don't think most service providers need to be reminded of that. Uh, the other issue, obviously, is that the, the, the revenue which they were getting from traditional voice and data services is just continuing to dry up. So I think service providers probably, if you went to them and said, you know, you do realize this is really important and urgent, would be sort of look at you kind of um, askance, really, because they're, they're pretty well aware of that. The issue mainly is how do they actually deploy this technology in a way uh, which is de-risked and serves their business. As enterprises are migrating to cloud services at an ever-increasing rate, communications service providers are moving fast to meet the demand for service evolution at cloud speed. They are evolving their architectures, ecosystems, and corporate cultures to offer seamless, agile delivery of unique mobile and fixed communications, enterprise and cloud services on a converging infrastructure. They can combine the agility and flexibility of cloud with the end-to-end -end service management and assurance they provide today along with new service offerings, which include end-to-end -end workload monitoring and assurance across network, compute, and storage, monitoring as a service capabilities, and sovereignty and location-specific network guarantees to ensure enterprise data resides where the enterprise wants it. How can you know if your business will benefit from network transformation? Asking yourself a few simple questions about your business can be helpful. 
Does your current solution offer the functionality you need to execute SLAs and maintain loyal and satisfied customers? Can your current service offerings evolve and change at the speed required by your customers? Can they be offered using cloud consumption models with programmable API-based interfaces? Are the costs of maintaining your current solution ever increasing? Answering yes to any of these questions may be a signal it's time to explore business transformation. Organizations of all shapes and sizes have already adopted virtualization, are benefiting from the cloud, and having success with these use cases. Virtual Enterprise CPE, Virtual Evolve Packet Core, Virtual IP Multimedia Subsystems, and GI LAN. Fast-moving communication service providers have already made the leap and are seeing the results. According to a heavy reading survey, 61% saw NFV as essential or very important in the next two years, with that number jumping to 75% in the next three to five years. Intel sits at the forefront of the next wave of network transformation, leading the way in the SDN and NFE revolution. And we're here to help. The technology and solutions Intel offers can help your organization remain on the cutting edge and in front of the competition. In upcoming podcasts, we'll take a closer look at technology solutions, use cases, and more. Be sure to tune in.